April Keto Crate unboxing and I'm ready to show you the goods for this month's box. I am excited about April because April is my birthday month so I'm hoping there's going to be something good in here and I'm going to show you exactly what I got. I'm going to post the nutrition information in the description below so I won't have to sit here and just read the label off to you because that will take a long time. You just kind of want to see what I got so let's get to it nice and quick. There's a couple things I've seen before in here and a couple things from a company I've tried products from but not this specific product. So I want to go ahead and show you. The first thing I'm going to show you is a protein bar. I am excited to try it because I have had this protein bar in the creamy peanut butter and sea salt and this is the crunchy peanut butter and sea salt. It's a raw Rev Glow bar. It is a natural peanut bar, 11 grams of protein, uh, very natural. It has a lot of that, you know, the oil sheen you get in the natural peanut butter jars. And it is delicious. I'm hoping this one will be just as good as the creamy. And I like crunchy peanut butter. So, fingers crossed I will like it. <laughs> Next is a drink. It is a can. It is a high ball energy drink, which I do not need right now because I'm apparently wired and I don't know why. I haven't even had a coffee today, so don't, I don't know. Um, it is a sparkling energy water. This one is in the grapefruit flavor. I am currently hooked on the LaCroix grapefruit water. So I think I might like this one. I like grapefruit, I like citrus. Uh, it's less than a carb a serving, which is better than um, Monster, I think. Uh, because Monster is usually for a whole, the whole can, like two net carbs if you subtract the erythritol they use. Then we do have another jarred item. This is a ranch chia dressing from Hillary's. It is beyond dairy free. It is free of a lot of things, so I don't know what it actually includes besides chia seeds. Um, it's corn, soy, dairy, egg, xanthan, canola, gluten free, nothing artificial. Hoping I like this, it's one carbohydrate is serving versus the normal two for ranch. I'm waiting to see what the flavor is on this one. I am a ranch fan. I actually like making my own homemade ranch. So we'll see. I'm going to give it a shot. Um, I have actually tried jerky from this brand before. I cannot actually tell you right now if it was in the Keto Delivered or the Keto Crate, but it's the Ayoba Yo brand. Um, this is the Billetong, the traditional Billetong. It's a thin cut, fattier cut of meat than your normal hard lean jerky. I tried the Dryerwood beef sticks. Uh, those were really good, so I have high hopes for these. Hopefully I will like this as well. And then uh, going on the jerky train, I'm, I've had this one before. This is one of the repeats and I really, really, really wish I liked it. I gave it my best shot and the first time I had it is the sea bear salmon jerky. I'm so, I really like fish and I really like jerky and I was hoping those two loves would come together in this salmon jerky. But I have to be honest, the fish flavor was just a little bit too much for me. I enjoyed the first piece or two, and then the fish flavor became overwhelming for me, and it made me a little nauseous, so I just had to, I threw it out. I couldn't finish it. I'm probably not going to eat this one. I might give it away. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but do not base your opinion off me. Always make up your mind on products yourself, because who knows, you may love it. I like different things. Like I tried uh, some buff baked butter the other day that someone told me was absolutely disgusting and I freaking loved it. So make up your own mind. If you like salmon and jerky and you want to try it, give it a try. You never know. It could be your new favorite thing and it's uh, ooh, I'm coming out of focus. It's a good product if you, if you like it. I mean it's a good product. And then last thing I am seeing is pork clouds. I love pork rinds so much. I actually had them the past like three days in a row. I have tried from this particular brand, the Malabar, Malabar black pepper, salt and pepper, is it salt and pepper one uh, before. Sorry, I'm just like going out of focus. I need to stop moving. 
This is the Rosemary and Sea Salt. This is the flavor I actually really wanted to try from this company, so I'm excited to try it. I will let you know what I think in my review, which I promise will be coming. Wait a minute. Okay. I'm having deja vu right now. I think I did this last time this product was in the box. I completely forgot about it. It's the Choco Perfection Bar. I swear I did this last time, so I'm just going to add it in before I end the video. I don't know. what It was under a piece of paper. I, I don't know how I missed it. Um, this is actually a really good low-carb, sugar-free chocolate. It's kind of more like a creamy milk chocolate. I do think I like the Lily's Bar just a little bit more for a snacking chocolate myself when it comes to the sugar-free chocolates. But this one I think is supposed to be good in cooking, so I'm going to try it in a recipe. I'm thinking I might do some kind of chocolate chip cookie or something with it, um, but I'll definitely keep you posted on that if I do there do decide to do it I'll let you know alright I'm gonna cut back into the outro I'm gonna have to go look at my last unboxing with this because I think I did this this is the second time I've done this I don't know why I forget about that poor product it's actually really good so I didn't want y'all to miss out on that so back to the regularly scheduled program I'm sorry but if you want to get um, up-to-date thoughts on what I do as I try them all of the products I get from these boxes, the moment I try them, I post on my Instagram. I give you a picture of what the product looks like, my immediate thought on it, and I usually translate those initial reviews from my Instagram onto my reviews on my blog. So if you want to get it right then, you don't want to wait for me to catch on my really big backlog, just go follow me on Instagram. It's kdo underscore keto. The same as my YouTube name, it's just all one word. KDO, the underscore symbol, and then keto, all lowercase. Follow me over there and you will get my immediate thoughts. You already know my thoughts on this. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but I'll let you know what I thought of all these other products. And this week I will probably be posting a um, update either, I'm not sure if it's going to be Friday because Friday is my birthday. I'm going to be a 27 year old lady. I'm getting older, but what can I do? You know, I'm eight. Everyone does. Uh, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do it on Friday, my birthday, or if I'm going to do it on Saturday or Sunday, kind of showing what I did this weekend because I haven't decided what to do for my birthday cake this year. It's probably looking like a cheesecake. That's what I did last year. Um, but I might be changing it up a little. I really like the brownie crust, brownie crust cheesecake. I think it's from All Day I Dream About food. I'm not sure. But I think I'm doing a little change up on it. Maybe a cinnamon filling versus the regular plain cheesecake. And I'm also thinking about doing some possible candied pecans or chia seed strawberry jam on top. I'll let you know. I'll keep you updated. Um, until my next video, just remember to hydrate, satiate, and celebrate your, throughout your day. I cannot talk. I'm talking too fast. I need to calm down a little bit. <laughs> so definitely no coffee for me tonight. But uh, yeah, just remember to hydrate, satiate, celebrate throughout your day. And I will talk to you later, guys. I am going to go play with my dog. I'm sorry. I thought I'm not doing anything super important right now. I know I should be doing other stuff. But I'm going to go play with my dog because I missed her all day and it's fun. Bye, guys. <sighs> And Lila wanted to say bye to y'all. She is so sweet. And she got tired of me not paying attention to her. But she won't make eye contact with you because she doesn't want to look at the camera. Lila, do what, what is this over here, Lila? What is that? Oh, look at the... There's a camera. Oh, no, that's food. What is he? What is that? Oh, yeah? You're cute? What? Nope. Okay, I tried. I tried to get y'all to see her face. If you want to see her face, I post pictures of her all the time on Instagram. Because I love her. I'm obsessed with her. And she's waiting. Okay. Let's go play. Let's go play.